Alana here with 630. Today we're going to talk about the best women's electric bike for the city. So stick around. Thanks for tuning in. I am here with the 630 Ride in the Park electric bike. This is the best women's electric bike for biking in the city for several, several reasons. First of all, this bike is, has a 500 watt motor. So that means it's going to be great for getting you through intersections quickly if you're commuting to work and you have a lot of lights um, that you need to pass through quickly. It's gonna get you through quickly and safely. Additionally, if you have any hills in your area or if you're in an area that gets a lot of traffic, that motor with the pedal assist or with just the throttle is really gonna help you maneuver quickly whenever you need to, whether you're avoiding obstacles going uphill, it's gonna make it easy and effortless. Additionally, let's talk about the aerodynamics. So this bike has thinner wheels than you would see on our typical comfort bike, like the Every Journey or the Around the Block. So that means you're gonna move a lot faster. Um, it's got a sleek design frame. We have the more narrow handlebars, which also gives you more power for maneuvering quickly. Again, adding to the safety of biking in a busy intersection. Additionally, this bike has disc brakes, which means it's gonna make it safe and easy to brake on a dime if that's what you need to do. So, of course, when you're biking in the city, it's busy, you have a lot of car traffic, sometimes you don't even have a bike lane, so it's, safety is really key, and that's what you're getting with this bike. Um, what else? We have the low step-through frame, so no matter what your wardrobe is for the day, it's gonna be doable with this bike. You don't necessarily have to swing your leg around. If you're in a skirt or a dress, you can step over. Um, easy to mount and dismount. All right, let's talk a little bit about the motor and the battery. So this bike actually has three modes of riding. First would be standard, meaning the battery's off, motor's off. It functions essentially as a normal bike. So if you wanna burn more calories, um, get your heart rate up, you can turn everything off and ride it as you would a normal bike. But you can also use the bike in full throttle mode. So that means no pedaling at all. With just the throttle, you can hit up to a max speed of 20 miles per hour. And in the full throttle mode, no pedaling, the battery, battery will help you cover about 30 miles. So that's pretty good distance. You could essentially get to work without doing any work at all. <laughs> no work until you get there. Um, but we also have pedal assist mode. So what that means is that as you pedal, the motor kicks in and gives you more of a boost. And in pedal assist mode, you can go even faster. So you can hit a max speed of 28 miles per hour. And in pedal assist mode, since you're also doing some of the work, the battery lasts a little bit longer around 30 to 40 miles. So it's a great way to, to get your heart rate up a little, burn a little bit of calories while still not doing all of the work. Um, and the, another great thing about this is that the battery is removable. So when you get to work, you can pop the battery out and I'll show you how that looks. Just turn the key, slide it out. And then you can plug it in so it can charge while you're at work. Um, if you need to. So you have full battery on your way home. You don't have to worry about pedaling if you don't want to. You can use full throttle at the end of a busy work day um, and give yourself a little bit of break, of a break. So that is the Ride in the Park 500 watt women's electric bike. The best option if you are biking in the city, if you're using your bike um, as a commuter, commuter bike, and of course, in addition to all of those great features, it looks super cute. Um, this is the teal, but we have a couple of other color options as well. All right, let's go for a test ride. Okay, super easy to mount, step through. Let's turn the motor on. And I'll start off in full throttle, let's go. So it hits about, I just hit 12 miles per hour. So I reached that speed pretty quickly. And now I'm in, I'm in pedal assist mode. I've eased off the throttle, throttle. So I'll start pedaling. 
And this one has seven gears. So right now I'm in seventh gear. Um, I'm actually gonna bring it down to six, five. So really you can adjust everything to get the exact ride that you want, whether you wanna be doing more or less work or no work at all. It's really up to you, but it's a very sleek, quick bike. Now, so hitting 16, 17, 18, 19, and that's about as comfortable as I feel right now. Let's turn around. So super comfy, easy to ride. A few things I forgot to mention, the seat, it's a bubble seat, so it has a lot of cushion, which is great for a long commute. And it also has this back rack, which holds, I think, just about 50 pounds. So it's great for a paneer or a basket if you bring a bag to work, as I'm sure you do. Um, this will take care of that. So that's the Women's Ride in the Park electric bike. Hopefully that was helpful to you if you're interested in buying a bike for commuting to work or riding in the city. This is going to be a great option. If you're wondering if this is a good fit for you, be sure to check out, check out our body fit quiz on our website, 630.com. You input your height, um, a few other things about yourself and where you'll be riding, and it'll suggest bikes to you um, based on your stats. Also, you can check out our 630 Pedalers group on Facebook. It's a great place to get recommendations from real 630 owners. So you could post a question about your riding style or which models you're interested in, and you'll get tons of responses from people with that bike. Um, so it's just a great resource if you're interested in getting a new bike, or even if you already have a bike, it's a great place to share photos and get encouragement from other riders. So check it out and be sure to download the 630 pedaling app. It's available in the Google Play Store and in the App Store. It's great for logging your rides. I love looking into the app and seeing how many miles I've logged. Um, and we have giveaways every week, a leaderboard, so it's really motivating to get up there on the leaderboard. Check it out. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.